<clears throat> Hi everybody, it's me, Jordan here, and today I'm going to do a real more serious video. Today I'm going to talk about the passing of Dusty Rhodes, a.k.a. Virgil Runnels III, Virgil Runnels Jr., <clears throat> who was well known for most of his career in multiple territories, like, you know, Chanchet Wrestling from Florida, Chanchet Wrestling from Georgia, Mid-Atlantic World Chanchet Wrestling, World Wrestling Federation, World Chanchet Wrestling, Toe Nonsip Action Wrestling, and many others. Also a former booker for both WCW and multiple times, both former booker for WCW and TNA, the former general manager of TNA and former general manager of NXT, also call a commentator, call a, a commentator, and let's not forget also the father of Gold Dust, Dustin Rhodes, or better known as Dustin Runnels, or Stardust, or Cody Rhodes, better known as Cody Runnels. He passed away Wednesday or Thursday of last week after kidney failure. And my thoughts is that he was a really good wrestler. I mean, he knew he somehow had a hit factor and he could entertain people in the ring. If it was, if it was, it was his very unusual promos or interview fragments or it's what he did in the ring or his unique booking style or the way he did color commentary or the way that he handled things, he'll be missed. I mean, a lot of people, I mean, he was probably one of the biggest names in wrestling next to Ric Flair or Sting or Bret Hart or Shawn Michaels or The Rock or Steve Austin or Hulk Hogan or Randy Savage or The Ultimate Warrior, on and on and on. He also helped did train and develop a lot of talent in WWE and NXT. And if I did mention, yes, he was the head booker of WCW on several different occasions. He also was the head booker for TNA at one point. He also was a color commentator. He was a color commentator in WCW, working mostly with Tony Schiavone and Jim Ross. Um, but he also did color commentary in FCW, Florida Championship Wrestling, with Todd, with Todd Grisham and Joss Matthews. He was one of a kind wrestlers. I don't think there's going to be any other type of wrestler out there that had the same type of character, the same type of wrestling skills, the same type of mic skills, or just the way he could capitalize and entertain an audience. No matter what promotion he went to, if it was Championship Wrestling from Georgia, Championship Wrestling from Florida, Mid-Atlantic World Championship Wrestling, Worldwide Wrestling Federation, or, you know, a World Class Championship Wrestling, or... He's in the World Wrestling Federation or World Championship Wrestling or he's in Tone Nonstop Action Wrestling. No matter what promotion he was in in World Wrestling Entertainment, he was always one of those wrestlers that you knew if he was on a card, you're going to have one hell of a night. And he will be missed. I mean, my condolences go out to, to Gold Dust, Dustin Rhodes, Dustin Runnels, Stardust, Cody Rhodes, Cody Runnels, and the rest of his family and friends who knew him. And also, you know, so, yeah, rest in peace, Dusty Rhodes, Virgil Runnels, the third, Virgil Runnels Jr., my mistake. Um, you're up in heaven with God now, with Jesus now, you're at peace in a better place, but I'm sure you're always going to be looking down from heaven and seeing how, seeing how wrestling is changing, you're always going to have a part, there's always going to be a part of wrestling where you're involved in one shape or another. I don't think any wrestler or promoter or booker or any interviewer or announcer or even any fans in the audience, any wrestling fan, I don't think they're ever going to truly forget about you because you touched so many lives and you did so many cool things both in and out of the ring. I'm Jordan Long. Hope you enjoyed this video.